What's up, guys? So I just got off work. I'm on the way to go pick up the arowana right now. It's I called him in earlier today, and then they said that it's eight inches, and he has like they have like five of them, right? So I'm just gonna go over there and pick one. And the reason why the eight inch arowana is perfect for me is because my current take mates right now, they're all around that size, around like six to seven inches, and the wolf is around like nine inches. Um, the reason why that arowana is a perfect size is because in the past I've given these guys take mates, but these three just destroy all of them, right? Whether it be pike cichlids, whether it be a school of silver dollars, they even kill a flower horn. All three of them. Uh, no, these three don't hurt each other. I mean, they nip each other a little bit, but they don't kill each other. They kill new people, right? Uh, so I didn't want to get a baby Giardini just because I was really fucking scared that they were going to kill it. But now that they, there's a big one that I'm just gonna throw it in and hopefully it survives. Not gonna win. So yeah, all the way to go pick it up right now. Definitely keep you guys updated. You're being All right, so he's in the tank now. Uh, just kind of chilling at the bottom. Barracuda's checking him out and just kind of goes away. I've read that Giardini's um, typically st stay towards the bottom when they're newly added. So I'm not really worried that he's trying to chill in at the bottom. Swimming though, so that's good. Uh, you might have noticed that the wolf is not here anymore. Uh, I moved him inside my house, so he has a he has a 40 gallon to himself. Yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable leaving the wolf with the Jardini. I feel like the Barracuda would know its place, doesn't really wouldn't really attack wouldn't really attack it, but the the wolf is pretty aggressive when it comes to like new tank mates. Uh, we'll see how he does. We'll let him get used to the tank a little bit, and then uh, I'll throw the wolf back in when the jar kind of settles in. But yeah, as of right now, he's kind of just swimming around, and the barracuda is just following him. But the the barracuda has always been following my other fish. Like he used to follow my wolf around and follow the gar around a little bit, but now he's just kind of like checking out the arowana. I don't know, maybe they might be buddies, or they might, the jar might kill it. I don't know, fuck. So here's the update on the arowana. Uh, right, as of right now, it's the next day, and he is... Looks like he's doing fine. Last night, he was getting comfortable, and he started picking on the, the barracuda. Uh, actually, picking on him a lot. Uh, I thought he was gonna freaking kill him last night, but the Jardina has a little bit of torn fins in the back. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. Yeah, see. Fins are a little torn. Yeah, the Giardini has a little bit of torn fins in the back. Uh, he was getting a little frisky with the Barracuda. Uh, I assume um, the Giardini got a little bit comfortable. And yeah, I saw him last night. He was he was beating up on the... It, was, it wasn't beating up, but he was chasing the... Ah, this. 
Yeah, sooner or later, I'm not going to have to worry about the Giardini attacking these fish. Um, the Pike Garrison and the Barracuda, I'm actually giving away to my buddies. Um, yeah, and this whole tank's going to be for him. Until I figure out if it's going to be a smart idea to put the wolf back in here. Um, I love the wolf. Uh, it's one of my favorite fish. I've had him for a long, long time. And he is particularly rare uh, where I'm from. And I would hate to see him get in a fight with the Giardini. But at the same time, I, I've always wanted a Giardini, so having him fight my wolf and I don't know I, I just like those two too much to put them together so I don't know we'll just have to see but yeah stay tuned for the next video um, the next video is going to be adding sand and working on a better lid system I know this looks hella ugly but I've seen or I've seen and heard so many stories about motherfucking air one is jumping out of your tank so I took it to high precaution to cover everything that's on this tank. And this is an acrylic tank too, it's not a glass tank where you can just put one piece of acrylic or like one piece of glass on top and then cover that. There's like hella little holes in there so. But yeah, for the lid I'm thinking about using a lighting diffuser, uh, just like my old tank. And just zip tie it to the top. But. Yeah, we'll have to see. Um, some people were telling me to use Velcro straps, and some people were telling me to use 3M double-sided tape, so I'm not drilling into the tank. But uh, I guess we'll just have to see. Hmm. Yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.